time for another film session presented by Frontier. Casey Phillips and Anthony Becht here. And man, we are back on the right track for these. After that disappointing loss, the Minnesota team rebounds. Huge win at home against the Giants. And there are some fun plays. I know you're excited to break down. Yeah, a lot of great plays in this game. Big win for us at home. Obviously, uh, you know, a team coming in that was desperate for a win. We were able to hang on the fourth quarter. And I'm not biased, but, you know, anytime we can talk sure, tight ends. Sure. Anytime we can talk tight ends, this is where I get kind of excited. This is a great game. And the first play we're going to pull out is obviously the O.J. Howard touchdown. And I think this is just a great play design. You have a three tight end set, Cameron Brayton, then two tight ends on the top. You have O.J. sitting on the end of the line of scrimmage. And basically, it's going to be a full action zone. Now, normally when you run this play, you usually go towards the tight end side. But here, Dirk Cutter wants to get that full action. So what happens as we do this, again, full action is happening to the left side of the field. You see the entire defense tracking as if Jacquez Rogers is getting the football. Some of the key things to watch off the line of scrimmage. Number one, let's look at uh, Cameron Brait. Cameron brait has got to get the attention of that linebacker. The biggest thing that he does here is he hits this guy. Now, he probably didn't do it purposely, but he gets on top. But what that does is, is completely turn his body around, and they cannot, he cannot see O.J. Howard. And then on the outside, you have Godwin. Godwin just has to run his cornerback across, and then watch how he affects the safety on the top. He's already getting his head around, too. So now who's the last guy we got to catch an eye to? And it's going to be this front side backer, and his responsibility is – Rodgers, and again, he gets so hard down the field as he sees Rodgers. He never sees O.J. Howard, and as we can see this, Jameis has got to just put it up. This, folks, is the hardest catch in football. Wide open, nobody around you, great concentration. O.J. Howard gets his first touchdown. I know he's excited. And as you see the play develop here, again, same thing, full action across the board. Everybody's full. Look at all the Giants players. Look how quickly they – this is how good they think they are because you see so many guys stop in the secondary and linebacker position and turn around. They think they got this totally covered, and nobody's home on the backside. Jameis just has got to put it up there. Pretty sweet, exciting feeling. This is just one of the biggest, bigger plays in the football game. And a lot of people were wondering if having Cam and OJ out there together, if one was going to take away from the other one or how they would complement each other. And I feel like this is the game that showed everyone exactly what they'd been hoping it would look like. Yeah, this is that uh, combination between both players is so important. I want to go back later in the game. Uh, Giants are up one point. It's third and one in this football game. And when you talk about uh, the players you lean on and the players you want to get the ball, this is basically a set here where you extend your tight end Cameron Brayton. He's one-on-one -on -one with the safety. The other safety is obviously rotated towards this side of the field because our two biggest weapons at the bottom, Mike Evans and Deshaun Jackson, are on the bottom. And basically, this is a trigger play. So for Jameis, he sees the coverage right now. He understands he's got his, his favorite target who's got a, a height mismatch. Collins is a very good safety, aggressive too, so you have to be strong at the point of attack. So let's just watch as Cameron gets off the ball. Number one, you've got to make sure you're physical. He throws his hands in there, and look at the force that he presses Con. So now he gets the separation. And another thing he does is he stays on the same line up the field. He doesn't get pressed outside. Now he gives a lot of room for Jameis and himself to run so he can drop the ball in. Once he gets by him, it's basically get your head around, and Jameis has to get the ball high up. And I'll tell you why, this is a great catch, concentration, full extension on this. Just able to pull it in. One of the best hands on the team at the position. Protection is great. A key block. I don't want to miss this, but watch Sims come across. We have an unblocked defensive end because we're sliding to the right, and he comes down and chops him down and takes him out. Clear vision for the quarterback. And again, here it is. Bam, look at that catch. That's so good. Great concentration. Watch how he tracks the ball to his hands all the way down. Head, hands, brings it in. Great catch. Huge play in the game. Obviously sets us up for the field goal and, uh, you know, everything works out from there. You're like a proud dad with your tight ends over there. I love it. That's awesome. All right, that's going to do it for us on this edition of Film Session. We'll see you next time.